welcome to Wave.video. My name is Anita Wong and in this training I'm going to show you how you can create your own brand inside the Wave.video editor. So to access your brand area you need to either go through your projects and open up a project that you've already created or you can start a project from scratch. Once the editor has opened up the first thing you want to do is to come over to where your profile image is and then click the drop down and go to manage brands. This will open up the brand editor for you. Now inside the brand editor, you will need to create a new brand for your brand that you want to upload. So the best way to do that is to click new brand. And then what you need to do is you need to actually scroll down to where it says new brand. It doesn't actually come at the top, it will be further down inside the scroll bar. Once you're here, you double click where it says new brand so that you can label your brand. So let's just say wave new and then click return. So now you've given your brand a label, you can go ahead and upload your logos and watermarks to your account. So to do that, you just simply click the upload logo button. So when you open up into your computer, you can just simply choose a logo. So I've chosen a PNG. It's the best option for your graphic to go up in and you just click open. The editor will pull that logo into your editor. So now you've got your logo. Now your logo can be used for your watermark and as a logo in your CTA throughout your project. So that's how you upload your logos. To see how that actually works, what you need to do is go to add video and photos. So to add your logo to your project, I'm just going to choose a random project to pop in. Let's pop that into the editor. And as you can see down here, when you open up the editor, I'm just going to see if I can make that a bit longer. The first preset that you come across is the your message. And over here, you have your call to action. And this is where your call to action will have your logo. So if you go over here on the right, you'll see that there's a logo tab. When you click it, the logo that you popped into your brand is there ready for you to add in. So when you click on the logo button, you click here and it will add the logo into your project. Now, your brand logo can also be used as your watermark. So to access your watermark, what you one would need to do is go to the watermark option. And again, it will have your logo that you uploaded into your brand there for you. So when you click on that, it will add your watermark to your project. Now the watermark will be on every section of your project automatically. Obviously you can move this around the screen by clicking on it and dragging it to where you would like your watermark to be present. But the watermark will be in that position on every section. So for instance, if I were to delete it and then I were to repeat this section by clicking the repeat button, and then we go back to working in this section and we add our watermark again. We add it in. It's going to sit here. So we were in this section. And if we go to this section, it's automatically been placed. So the watermark will be automatically placed on every section inside your project. So just to recap, to get to your adding your own logo or your watermark, you click on the drop down. We go to the brand that we are creating. It opens up into the brand manager where you go manage brands. And we've, the logo and watermarks can be uploaded by clicking the upload logo. You go into your computer, add your brand in and click open. And it will pull that logo into your project for you to use inside the editor.